A Florida man who was legally blind was walking home one day, minding his own business, when cops stopped him and arrested him for open carrying a gun. Or a cane. Or for the crime of being blind? Or maybe it was for complaining when they illegally searched him. Honestly, it's all a bit fuzzy. Stick around and maybe you can figure it out. Hey there, Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel. I don't even know where to start on this one. We have a cop who literally called herself a tyrant, stopping a blind guy for open carrying a gun and improperly exercising this right, then realized it was a cane, arrested him anyway for knowing his Fourth Amendment rights, and then filed a false report. And the whole thing is on video to prove it. This story is just wild. Before I show you the body cam footage and get into the details, shout out to today's sponsor, NorthTac. NorthTac is leading the way in today's value-based optics market. They build the most popular features into their optics, giving customers modern, high-tech technology at affordable prices. Right now, it's NorthTac November with all kinds of deals, like discounts of up to 40% off their most popular models. Right now, take 20% off of your order with code DOLL20 or $50 off all orders over $200 with code THANKS50 at checkout using my link in the description and the pinned comment. As I said in the intro, James Hodges is legally blind. He was walking home from canceled jury duty one morning with, I kid you not, a red, white, and blue bandana and an American flag coat with his collapsible cane in his pocket. Columbia County Deputy Jamie Gody saw him in the crosswalk, decided the large white cane might be a gun, and stopped him for improperly carrying a firearm. Didn't really know that was the police's job, but okay. Open carry is illegal in Florida unless you're hunting, camping, or fishing. When open carry was proposed in the state legislature, the Columbia County Sheriff's Department just so happened to campaign against it. In the video, the deputy stops Hodges and asks what's in his pocket. He tells her it's a navigational aid and asks, what's the problem? Are you a tyrant? Goda replies that yes, in fact, she is, demands his identification, and threatens to handcuff him only 20 seconds into their encounter, despite the fact that he just told her it isn't a gun. Hi there! Hey. What's this in your back pocket? I just saw you walking it. It's a navigational age. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am, actually. What's your name and date of birth? I don't have to give that unless yes, I'm sir, I was investigating. You have reasonable, Do you want me to put suspicion? you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. She clearly doesn't believe him and accuses him of deliberately turning his body so that she can't see it. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. Properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be a dick to me. Well, you're being one to me. No, sir, I'm have doing my job. Day. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? He refuses to give her any information, which is completely within his rights to do. In Florida, people are only required by law to show their IDs when they're stopped on suspicion of committing a crime. She is completely unable to tell him of any crime that might have been committed. It does not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? Would you like me Call to your put you in here? He's right here. All right. And while he was pretty ornery about a cop stopping him for no reason, that is within his First Amendment rights to do. It's certainly not advisable to be belligerent to a cop or curse at them or give them the finger or anything within that category, but it's not illegal. Sergeant Randy Harrison comes in as backup, a sergeant who killed his own police dog because he was too distracted by a personal matter to remember the dog in a hot car, by the way, and orders Hodges be handcuffed despite, again, no crime taking place. Don't you know. Sir, what's the stop you for? For a walking stick. Okay? So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really? present it, okay? Now she's asking me for ID. 
Okay. I don't need the ID unless okay. it's reasonable, articulated suspicion and her, that I have it, committed a crime and committing a crime and or her, about to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay, and she's asking you for your ID. Well, now right. she has verified that I am not armed, right. so there is no you problem. you have your ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? Okay. You do that. He's then searched illegally, which he points out. Where's your wallet at, sir? I don't have a wallet on me. Okay, where's your ID? Where's your ID? Uh, pocket. Which pocket? You are not allowed to search me. It's in this pocket. Thank you. I want your names and badge numbers. 1257 on Nick 654 Yeah, 444.7. Hotel 322-457-612540. So, of course, the only answer here is to arrest him for resisting arrest. So, are you legally blind? Yes, I am. I had to walk up here in the dark for jury duty, which was canceled. Why aren't you using your stick? You don't have Probably to use your stick all the time? Well, not all the time. 26. Green. Green. All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's going to be. I want your name and your badge you number. You know what? Put yourself for resistance. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number two, sir. Have a seat. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will. After you have a seat. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too. Not once did he physically resist arrest. He was charged with resisting arrest without violence, a first-degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail, a $1,000 fine, and 12 months of probation. He spent 26 hours in jail before being released. In Godie's report, she stated she initially saw him in the crosswalk with what she thought was a chrome pistol with a white grip in his back pocket. She never mentions in the report that Hodges showed the cane to her or her supervisor. By her account, she only discovered it was a cane until after she handcuffed him and searched him. She wrote that Hodges was found to be in violation of Florida Statute 843.02 by obstructing the ongoing investigation when he repeatedly refused to allow identification of the object in his pocket as well as by refusing to identify himself. James Hodges was placed under arrest for resisting without violence and transported to the Columbia County Detention Facility without incident. Except he definitely identified the object about 10 seconds into their encounter. He wasn't the most friendly about it, true, but the entire incident from start to finish was about four and a half minutes, meaning four minutes of it was completely unnecessary. Yeah, dude might have been a bit of a dick, but so was that cop, and just because he's a dick does not give her the right to arrest him. In a press conference after the fact, the department claimed that they noted the policy violation upon reviewing the footage before sending it to Hodges at his request, and that that kickstarted the investigation, not the story going viral and all the people that were on their Facebook and in their email and sending in phone calls. Godey was suspended for two days and her superior was demoted for two years. He was also suspended without pay for a week. Both will be required to undergo additional training on civil rights. But let's all be honest here. If that hadn't been caught on video, if Hodges hadn't requested it and then hadn't posted it to YouTube, it would just be business as usual. 
And all of this because maybe, possibly, there was a chance that he was carrying a gun the wrong way. That's it for this one. Please do all of the algorithm things. Hit the like button, share the video, comment down below. All of your interactions help this video in the algorithm and help get it out to other folks. Don't forget to visit today's sponsor. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there and happy shooting.